Hey guys, here we are playing some ranked splat zones on Kelpdown, and I'm using the splatter shot with the burst bomb and the splashdown. So let's go ahead and do this. And I want to be honest with you because I think it's important. My audio recording failed twice doing this, so this is my third recording of this. But the gameplay is the same, so this is post recording. So I uh, run to the point straight away, jump down, start inking it up. Just like normal, I see a guy up here and he absolutely pelts me, so I run away and I do pick up a kill up there. So just why not too much is happening, I do just want to say sorry for not getting a video of Splatterfest or anything like that. I had to go away for the weekend to Wales to see my mate, so unfortunately I didn't record anything proud of anything. And that's why I've not posted in a while, so I wanted to get a video part of them. This is my first ever Splatter Zone on Splatoon 2 and on Splatoon 1. And this is the first ever game I've played. So I thought it would be interesting to show it, even though I'm a low rank on it, just because it's the first one I've played. But I've run away from that guy, because I see he uses ult. I do get bogged down in front of everyone. But then I see two guys come up to the tower, so I flank behind them, managed to get a double kill. And then I use my splash down, but I killed him, and I was an absolute panic ult, and it's completely wasted. So I'm just chilling up here, looking for someone to shoot. Can't see no one yet, and then I spin around, and this guy comes up with a roller. And I batted a heart attack when I was first recording it. But luckily my teammate picks him up. And then I just go down until I can find people to pick off. I do see this guy here, I managed to kill him with a splatter shot because uh, I think it's great, the normal splatter shot. It's got great range, great damage, just perfect average gun, really good starting gun. So then I see a couple of people down that way, so I decide to go down, hit clip over the burst bomb and get the kill on that one. And I see one coming up, boom, and then that guy being annoying over there. So I go down and I try and take him out, but I can't hit him. I realise that I can't see to my right or left. So I'll stop that in case there's no one coming. Luckily there's no one is, but I stay prone and I wait for a moment to strike when I can see someone. And here's two people running up. So there's one, there's two, and then that guy's firing his tent missiles up there. I think I get a chip with a burst bomb, but I definitely kill him. And there is a beautiful triple kill, and the game counts down, and boom. So that is the end of the first match of my first ever one. So I'm quite impressed with it, to be honest with you. I know I am only C rank on this game mode, but I'm still pretty impressed, so I'll take that. So, at the end of the score, let's have a look how I did. I believe I did get the most kills on both teams, but because I'm looking at this in a very small window, I can't see how many. I think it's like nine kills. So anyway, thanks for watching. Let's jump on to the second game. Hey guys, welcome back. And we are playing Splat Zones again. Exact same game mode. Exact same. It's just the match straight after. So this is my second only game. Nothing's changed apart from the map, which is now... What's it called? Muscle Forge Fitness. So on this one, I run straight to the middle, wanting to get that point, contest it, but then I don't see this sniper up there, and boom, instantly taken out. So bad start to the first game, very bad start, but felt well played to that guy. I'm very sorry, I can't see the names from this little window. I'm looking at the screen and now, but very well played. Completely my fault. So my teammate decides to jump on me here, so I decide to stay back, make sure he's covered. And our three of us are running together because you never want to rush it by yourself. You probably will just die against two or three, and that's not the best. So we do wait for my team. See, the sniper is still being annoying up there, so I decide to go around, flank around. I do, uh, unfortunately, I'm not there. I shouldn't have done that. I should have been a bit more sneaky. So they jump off, but at least they're not sniping, and they are forced to go to the point. So I decide to hound down the sniper when I probably should have just. Uh, just gone to the point. I do think I was about to get a triple then with my splashdown, but because I was slightly elevated, I missed everyone instead, which is terrible. But my team do push forward, we get that kill, and now we are in control of the splat zone, so that is absolutely fantastic, and I can't catch my breath. My team were very good this game. I don't want to say I got carried, but they were definitely a very good team, very capable. So just dodging some bombs, sniper's in the same position but I expected it, so burst bomb, couple shots, take them out. This guy, I absolutely fail at hard here, but my teammate on the right there, he shows me how it's done. Might even be the guy behind him. But we do kill that guy in his ult, so that's perfect. And 43 to about 50 I believe, so things have evened up and we are now in the lead. Just invisible, waiting for someone to come along, but I see that sniper is not coming. I go across the bridge but there's two people there and I back off, I am not going across there, I think that's a bad idea. But I'm still happy to contest it. And then when the coast is a bit more clear, boom. And me and the sniper take each other out. So I think in this game we are currently 2 for 2 on kills of each other. It's like my little nemesis. But I do a super boost forward because I realise that guy wasn't too far. By the way, that guy super jumped on me earlier. Just ready, just before the action. And uh, I get a trade there, but it is a bit unfortunate. But I just wanted to get on the point in time to contest it. Because that was the end. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry they're not the two greatest games in the universe, but I did want to showcase my first games because I thought it'd be fun as this is like the framework and then we can build upon it and see how I improve over the next few videos. So thank you so for watching. That's my score for that one. Take care. Cheers. Bye.